yet so powerfully clear. Sometimes the more difficult way is the best way, absolutely the best way. And what if we didn't run from that and really gave ourselves to that possibility? Today I also want to address a phrase I hear around New Thought circles a whole lot. It's one of those phrases lightly tossed off and bandied about, but I don't know if we examine it fully enough. It's the phrase, with grace and ease. And there are some teachers in our movement who tell their students, you must never do an affirmation for your good or do an affirmative prayer without adding the caveat, with grace and ease. So I accept this and this into my life, with grace and ease, trained to always add that. I have a concern about that. Um, I think there's some dangers in that. I think it's got some superstition still hanging out in it. And I think it's shallow and got some distinct problems. I mean, really, do we think that if we don't add that, that caveat, that the divine, that the, that the infinite love and intelligence of this universe is going to say, oh, this is my permission to just dump a bunch of junk into this person's life and see if they sink or swim with it, you know? Or if we don't add that, are we suggesting that when the difficult comes along in our life that we've done something wrong? What if it's our greatest time of opportunity and it's not a mistake? And what if running from the difficult passages in life is actually in agreement with mediocrity? What if? You know, the difficult is not always the bad. And if you're having a difficult time right now, you're not wrong, and it may not be bad. It might, in fact, be ideal. Look at nature, how it births great things, and it's not always easy. You know, you maybe are familiar with the example of the butterfly. The guy who ran across a, a, a cocoon, and the butterfly was partially emerging from the cocoon. And, and the guy wanted to help the butterfly out, so he got a little knife out, and he very carefully cut the cocoon, and he freed the butterfly from its struggle. The butterfly, in short order, proceeded to die. The man didn't realize that the butterfly needed. Nature gave the butterfly that struggle through that cocoon as a way to spread the life-giving fluids through the wings so that it could survive and fly. Being removed from that difficulty, it died. You think of a little chick that's pecking away inside an egg. And you might want to come along and be a wonderful, helpful person. You break the egg open, the chick will die because it needs that pecking, that struggle to get out of there to strengthen its heart and its lungs. Nature knows about this. You, you, you take a little plant or a seedling or a little tree or whatever you want to plant, if you lavish it easily with water, all the water it wants, it's going to put down shallow roots. When the first wind or storm comes along, it's going to rip it up and it's gone. However, given enough water to survive, but the need to go deeper, it puts down deeper roots and becomes a stronger plant. Sometimes the difficult is the best.